Okay, I'm back for my uh, uh, part four of my 40 minute, 10 minute tutorial. Um, and as I said before, um, I'm going to be um, cutting a pill shaped hole um, into um, my uh, flat polygonal surface, surface here. Um, and it's going to be pretty much the same, same, uh, sa same deal as uh, um, boring a hole through uh, a regular circular hole. That's just a few few um, minor modifications here. So we're going to create our uh, a cylinder here and again we're going to turn it into six subdivisions and we're going to move move all the faces except for one of your end caps either the top or the bottom. And I'm just going to center the pivot and I'm going to grid snap this so it lines up to the center scale this down so it fits inside here and I already have my uh, polygon plane here elongated so it can fit uh, <coughs> fit the actual uh, um, cylinder or our pill shaped object that I'm going to be making now you could at this point actually scale your face your uh, end cap but the problem is is that uh, the way we have it originally this way now it'll create a nice circular shape if we scale it in the a z or x axis what it, you're going to be doing is uh, uh, stretching out the difference between um, the vertices that would normally create our rounded et, um, end caps for our pill shape so instead of scaling out we want to select the vertexes and you don't have to select the the center one it doesn't really matter and we're just going to move these out because we want to retain um, the uh, how to put it we we'll want to make sure these uh, vertices stay exactly where they are uh, lined up with each other because that's going to create our nice uh, rounded edge and we can just move this one down here that looks fine okay and now all we have to do is create our little bubble of geometry. So select the center face and we're going to extrude in. Hit the scale tool and we're just going to extrude in just a tad bit. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's been a long day already. I'm just going to scale this down just a tad bit. And again, we're going to enter insert uh, edge loop. And now we can get rid of the faces of the centerpiece. And at this point again, we can do a vertex snap of our vertices till the to the pill shaped. go now we can just get rid of the pill shape and we do a smooth preview and yeah it, it's pill shaped it looks alright but the problem is, is that I want to have flat edges at the top and the bottom so in order to actually do that we actually have to uh, like we constrain our edges we have to tell Maya we only want this curve to, con to uh, curve so far because at this point um, the vert uh, vertices are interpolating all the way to the center here. Okay, so we're going to add some more geometry on uh, these edges here. And the only way to do that is yes, we actually have to insert edge loops, um, which normally would suck, but um, it's one, one of those things we kind of can't get away from. So insert edge loops there. And now when we do a smooth preview, they look a little bit better. So in my smooth preview, I'm going to select the vertices, and I'm just going to move the vertices till I get uh, a pill shape that I like. Let's 
So that looks pretty good. And again, you know, to give it some depth, just select the edges. Let's go back to our regular preview. You know, select the edges here. And let's go to Edit Mesh Extrude. W for the Move Tool. And extrude those down. Let's smooth preview again. There we go. So now you know how to make a pill shaped hole um, in your you know, flat square piece of geometry. Uh, I think that's it. Um, 40 minutes. I promised a 10 minute tutorial. It took me 40 minutes. So um, hopefully this uh, helped uh, some of you guys out a little bit. A uh, little, little few bits of uh, modeling gems here. Um, so I'm going to be doing some more um, on the next weekend with, with uh, tracking and uh, some special effects and after effects and I might actually use Maya for it. So I am done for now and I will hopefully see you guys later. Alright, bye.